what's the closest decentralized stablecoin that you're seeing on the market today? Are there any that you look to and see that there's interesting things, even if they're based on USDC or USD or otherwise? Is there anything that is like an interesting decentralized design in the market today? Or is there just like a total dearth? I mean, there's there's a couple other projects that have some proposals um, and some things in the market. I'm going to probably need help with the names. Uh, like, I, I think I've heard you talk about Rye, Reflexer and Rye. Rye previously. is the Ethereum volatility one. That's right. Yeah. yeah. That, that one's a reasonable design. Um, the the same guys who kind of did their controller design and economic analysis block science, uh, we actually contracted to help us with our controller design. Mm -hmm. um, but but Rye is a good example of something that's in the market that I think is a good design for generalized stability. It's not really tied to real world assets, but if you look at their chart over... I think it's a four or five year period. They actually did a decent mm -hmm. job um, of, of keeping something right. relatively stable over that period of time without really having external oracles or sort of hard pegged references, which which is impressive. Mm -hmm. um, I think having a design where you, you get back to a real world, world asset is the way to go because it's not just about volatility of Ethereum price and sort of hypothecating something um, out of that. It's about having money that's tied to the real world I, mm -hmm. I think is a better design i think it's more stable over time than a strictly hypothecated design um but out of the ones that exist i think that's probably the best example mm -hmm. um that i've seen there's a couple others I, I know you you mentioned um yeah there's some there's some other ones out there i think like uh gyroscopes one some people like high is another version of rye that some people have liked um but it, look you if you're trying to create um a USD denominated one, like you're going to face similar issues. I, yeah, there's some interesting ones with doing the CPI uh, or, or like an inflation. Yeah, based, flat, the flat, flat tokens. Stuff. And they do it with an interesting mechanism, like from a financialization perspective, it's interesting how they tranche it and separate the, out the no, volatility I, I versus think, others. I think, I think it's, but it's, it's ridiculous it's to try to... Challenging. I think it's ridiculous to try to tie things back to the dollar. You're, you're not going to be able to come up with an endogenous system that's pegged to anything, let alone the dollar. Yeah, that's robust and resilient. It, yeah. It's challenging. Yeah. <clears throat> um, I think I'm seeing one other question here. Uh, I want to get that to get to before we um, wrap things up is uh, it's a little bit about uh, privacy, which is that, but more so about like USDC, USDT. They've been pretty good, I think, about not freezing people's accounts. Certainly um, not like the Canadian government or anything, um, but it, Raises the question about: Do you need privacy for a stable coin, or can you get it far enough with just censorship resistance, decentralized thing like a Bitcoin type thing? Or how do you view that that place in the market? Um, I mean, I I think Bitcoin at this point, you know, however much I love it mm -hmm. and like what it introduced, I think it's like utterly failed mm -hmm. as a technology in terms of its scale. Um, in terms of its utility, and one of the obvious sort of death knells in it is the complete and utter lack of privacy mm -hmm. in the system, right? Um, I love Bitcoin. I have a different opinion, but I very much agree about privacy being a, a big, big weak point for sure. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, um, I, I still have exposure to Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. um, so in, in that regard, like it still is the, the dominant you. crypto asset. Yep. Um, but if you look at the original vision of creating state independent money, it has certainly not achieved that. And the characteristics that it has in the base layer with the lack of scaling and the lack of any modicum of privacy, um, I think it makes it impossible for it to achieve that. Mm -hmm. um, so, right, my ultimate goal is to accomplish Bitcoin's original goal, mm -hmm. which is state independent money. So, um, you know, with Qi, there are cash-like properties, mm -hmm. right? It is a fixed denomination uh, UTXO ledger, uh, and we enforce non-address reuse per block in the protocol. That means if you have a, um, you know, just normal wallet, um, you will want to follow what is considered good privacy practices in Bitcoin, but you basically you would have to go well out of your way to not use good privacy practices mm -hmm. would, would be like a good way to put it. Yeah. You could, but, right. but like the, the natural design philosophy of a wallet with those two characteristics 
is to make something that keeps a a good amount of entropy in the aggregate set, which makes it look like cash when it's spent. So it's mm -hmm. not perfectly private. It's certainly traceable and trackable if you want to reveal uh, accounts and addresses to people. So it's auditable for businesses. But at the same time, if I'm a business and I'm a competitive business, I'm not going to be leaking all of my revenue in my consumption, in my pricing, in my producer pricing to my competitors when just conducting normal business. Right. It allows enough privacy for that while simultaneously still being auditable. So if right. I'm a business, I'm still gonna be able to have corporate controls. I'm still gonna be able to track probably better than cash mm -hmm. what revenue and what sales I had. Um, but from a public standpoint, unless you see those sort of audit right. keys, you're not going to know what's going on with Chipotle right. or Freebird. Yeah, I can't or... see what everybody is buying from Chipotle, my local Chipotle. That's right. Like today, yeah, that makes sense. Right. Oh, yeah, that's a good answer. I mean, that's yeah, that's that's interesting. Um, I mean, cool. I mean, I mean, I almost think that's a prerequisite to even be considered as uh, a re replacement for money. Yeah. Is that you need to have cash-like characteristics because if everybody is leaking all of their data to everybody else. Mm -hmm for every transaction, we can't have yeah. a capitalistic society because we can't have competitive uh, organizations, mm -hmm. right? You, you, that's, it's almost a prerequisite to get laissez-faire outcomes, right? It's a predicate to get capitalism to take mm -hmm. place is that you can't be leaking everything about your business to everybody all the time, right? You have to have at least that cash like property. And with that, then you can like build the digital system that allows for good outcomes.